Today I will be talking to you about real-time elasticity feature which we have introduced in MySQL Heatwave. Heatwave is a highly scalable system and what that means is as customers add new nodes to a given cluster, the performance of the system improves almost linearly with the number of nodes. As a result, a lot of customers of MySQL, they start off with the cluster of a given size and they increase the size of the cluster or decrease the size of the cluster based on demand. And this could be because the size of the data has increased or they have a need to improve the performance for a given reason. While customers can currently resize the Heatwave cluster to a larger or smaller number of nodes, there are two limitations. First, this step has to be done manually by the user. And secondly, while this operation is being done by the user, the system is not available for queries or for DMLs. The MySQL node is always available, but the Heatwave cluster is not. With real-time elasticity feature, we are able to overcome both of these limitations. There is absolutely no manual step involved. It's completely transparently done by the system. And secondly, while the resizing is being done by the system, the Heatwave cluster is completely available for queries, for DMLs, or for loading of new tables. Let me show you how we do this. What you see in the screen is the upper screen. Think of it to be the heart rate monitor. We have a query which is constantly running. And what this shows is that while the resize operation is happening, the system is completely available for queries. In the lower screen, what we are showing is the amount of data which is being populated to the various nodes of the Heatwave cluster. And this shows how balanced the system is. So in this setup, we have a four terabyte TPCH workload which we have distributed over five nodes to begin with. Now, as we want to resize this cluster, the only thing which I need to do is to go to the OCI console, and I'm going to change the number of nodes from five to some arbitrary number 29. So if it is a case that I feel that uh, for our needs, we need 29 nodes, we can just go ahead and make the change. As we do that, the system now takes over the process of provisioning new nodes populating data into these new nodes. And this was a step which earlier customers would have to do it manually. Now the system is doing it for us. While this is happening, as you can see from the upper screen, which is the heart rate monitor, the queries are constantly running. So TPCH query one, it used to take 37 seconds in the five node cluster case. And while the resize operation is happening, it's continued to take about 37 seconds, right? And the system is fully available. Now. While this data is being loaded into these new 24 nodes which have been added, the data is being loaded in parallel by the Heatwave cluster from the OCA object store. So one of the interesting properties of Heatwave is that it's a scale-out system, both for query processing as well as for data management. And the way we achieve scalability for data management is that we load the data into the OCA object store and on demand, the various nodes of the Heatwave cluster can read the data. As a result, the amount of time it takes to load a two node cluster or a 64 node cluster is the same because it's being done in parallel. The second thing is that there is no data movement between the nodes. As a result, the first five nodes absolutely are not interrupted with any additional work. And that's why the query time remains to be 37 seconds, right? And it's pretty steady. Once the data has been uh, completely populated into these new uh, 24 nodes, the system now starts using the 29 node cluster. And you see that as soon as that happens, the query performance improves from 37 seconds down to seven seconds. So we increase the size of the cluster by a little over five times. The query performance improved by a little over five times. Now let's do the downsize operation. In this uh, downsize operation, we're gonna go and change from 29 node cluster to 11 nodes. As we do that, in this case, now the system is gonna take the first 11 nodes and it's gonna populate the additional data that is required from the object store. Now, since it's populating these existing 11 nodes on which the query is already running, there's gonna be a slight increase in the query processing time. So you can see the query processing time slightly increases from seven seconds by a couple of seconds. Once this operation is complete, as you will note uh, from the amount of data in each of these uh, 11 nodes, the system is completely balanced. There was no need for any human intervention. And secondly, once uh, the system is balanced and the query Q1, it's the same query which has been running on these 11 nodes is now taking 
17 seconds, right? So we reduce the size of the cluster by a little over two times. The amount of time it takes for the queries also increases by a little over two times. So what I've shown you is upsize and downsize, and all of this was done while the system was completely available and without any manual step from the user. Introduction to a new feature of HeatWave would not be complete without some discussion about performance. So let's look at the performance characteristics of real-time elasticity. The first thing to measure is the resize time. And this is the amount of time it takes to resize the cluster. It depends upon two things, the provisioning time, which is constant. And the second thing is the amount of time it takes to load one of the nodes. Since it's a scalable system, the amount of time it takes to load one node is the same as it would take to load 64 nodes. So as you can see from our example, we started off with four terabyte workload. As we increase the number of nodes, the same four terabytes is being distributed over a larger number of nodes. And as a result, the resize time decreases with increase in the number of nodes of the cluster. The second aspect is what I'm referring to as the pause time. As we went from five nodes to 29 nodes, the only change the system needs to make is to update a partitioning map in the memory of the HeatWave cluster. This time is measured in tens of microseconds. So it's only for microseconds that there is a pause in the query. So what we have seen with the real-time elasticity feature is that the system is completely available for the entire duration of the resize operation. There is no downtime. The system is very flexible. We can scale up or scale down to any number of nodes. The time it takes to resize is very predictable because it only depends upon the amount of data per node. And it is very performant because it is done at near object store bandwidth. And finally, at the end of the operation, the system is very balanced. The amount of data you have for each node is about the same. And this is done without any intervention on part of the user. 